So I have been running ads for various types of brands in the SaaS space now for a good seven years altogether. I'm far too old. And in that time, I've noticed one particular trend that is really hindering their success. And that is a good enough view of the funnel that they have. And what that really comes down to is qualified leads, whether that's marketing qualified, sales qualified or whatever. It's having that debt to the conversion trend tracking that they have in place to get enough data through the system. Most of the time, companies have smaller budgets between 2,000 to say 20,000 pounds. And of course, some companies have hundreds of thousands to spend. This is less important for them. It still is important, but it's less important because ultimately they can focus on a simpler funnel actually because they get enough purchase conversions coming through the system. But for many of you who are gonna be watching this video, you're very likely gonna be spending between 1,000 up to 10,000 pounds in ad spend, even up to 50K, this very often can be important. And very often too, you have a high value per conversion. And so you need to spend lots of money to get conversions, obviously. And so your budget gets spread very quickly. So you basically don't get very many actual purchase conversions in terms of quantity. If you think about selling e-commerce, 30 pound items, you're gonna be selling lots of them. You're gonna get hundreds and thousands of conversions every month. Whereas if you're selling um, a SaaS package that's worth 50k, well, of course, if you were selling even 10 of those a month, you'd be doing pretty well for yourself. So the total quantity is much less. So if we go over to looking at my screen a little more detail, less of my face, this is a simple example of that. So this is just me explaining it first. I'm then going to explain why this is so damaging. And then lastly, I'm just going to give you a bit of an explanation of how to actually move forward with this for your own business. So firstly, this is how it can look. It can look as someone arrives to your website is obviously a click. And then initially they might sign up. There might be an inquiry form. There might be a sign up form of some kind, maybe sign up to a demo, etc. And then often that's maybe even the only thing you track. That is the worst case. You should have a purchase conversion. Sometimes you maybe have a 30 day uh, trial or a longer period before they convert. And so you don't get very many purchase conversions. So maybe you've just got sign up. So this is a very shallow starting point, but it's very often what I see in many people's uh, kind of conversion tracking infrastructure. So as you can see in this example, though, he also has qualified lead. This is an existing client of ours, by the way, I've just taken a very small data window, and you don't know who it is. So it should be straightforward to, to, to look at as an easy example, but they have the perfect conversion tracking in place here, they have sign up for the initial form, but then they also have qualified lead. So qualified lead is the in between, it's basically saying someone fills in a form, and then someone in their team looks at their leads and says, is this a good or is this a bad lead? Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. So in this particular case, for them, they have someone literally moving within Pipedrive from one column to another to say, this was a good lead. So then when that happens, we send an offline conversion back to Google and say, this is a qualified lead. So as you can see, of 39 total leads, we had 26 that were qualified. And then of those 26, in this particular very small data window, two of those turned into a purchase. So this is the simple way it can look. And this is very valuable because I'm not going to go into the ad groups because it's not fair to this particular client. But in this scenario, you can then start to see trends within your ads, you can see that certain days, uh, maybe get all of the conversions, certain ad groups get more of purchases or more qualified leads, maybe one of the ad groups gets tons of signups, but no, none of them end up as qualified leads. So it's just sending loads of rubbish conversions. So so this is much more nuanced. And why does this all matter so much? Well, it matters because it matters about the quality of data that you're feeding back to Google. So if you just say to Google, I just want signups into this particular form, let's just say it's for an ads agency, this is actually an easier example. And so let's just say we, we said ads agency, paid ads agency was the keyword, we were sending people into our website, if we said to Google, just focus on getting more people to fill in an inquiry form with us. Well, of course, in that scenario, there's some people who are running very large companies who are going through to fill in forms with us. And then there's other people who are maybe students looking to get a job with Snowball Creations, my ads agency. Well, of course, someone running a company is generally 
a more expensive person to be trying to capture the attention of. So the search that they're doing, the device that they're on, all of these factors will lean towards being the more expensive click because by definition, the market tries to compete to get that person's attention much more because it is genuinely valuable. Whereas a student, for example, going through and trying to get a job from me does not have much value. Like it's very little value, especially if it's a student, for example. And there's lots of students. There's lots of those people that exist, way more than the person running a company. And also nobody else wants that student either because they have no money. They can't sign up for an expensive paid ads agency or whatever it's going to be. In their eyes, it's very expensive. And so in this world, the problem is if you're just focusing on signups or an inquiry form, well, then Google is going to focus on those students because, of course, maximize conversions, get as many signups as possible. Well, you can get cheap signups from students day after day for, you know, maybe five pounds per conversion for all I know. But large companies, the business owners behind those large companies are obviously expensive people to get the attention of. And so Google will deprioritize putting attention towards those people. So we need to improve the quality of the conversion that we're trying to focus Google on. Of course, if you're doing maximized clicks, it's just going to get you as many clicks as it can. But if we're trying to focus on conversions, it's going to focus on those conversions. So we need to make sure it's the right conversion. And so many companies, especially in the SaaS space, may not get very many purchases. We could skip to the purchase step. But in this scenario, Google then only has two data points to look at to try and find people that are going to be good clicks to spend money on. So that does not work either. So this is where qualified lead is really valuable because it says to Google, don't just go after those students because we're going to tell Google, no, we've gone and looked at these leads that you've sent through and it's only these 26 that are the good ones. So I only want you to be spending your budget on people that look like qualified leads not signups. So you can see how this is a far better data point. And everyone's obsessed with AI nowadays. Well, AI and, and machine algorithms are only as smart as the data that you give them. And so if we move from sign up to qualified leads, you can probably start to see just how impactful this is to your marketing. And to put this in perspective, I audit accounts every single month. I do many, many audits. And of all of these, I would say it's only about 5% of SaaS businesses, any B2B business, anyone looking for lead gen at all in any way actually have any qualified lead system in terms of marketing qualified lead sales qualified lead at all within their marketing we have to bring that in as an agency you can split this up further so you can have marketing qualified lead which is kind of the first step and then sales qualified lead which is like an even better quality lead that's a really nice thing to do it's actually something we're working with this particular client with exactly at this exact moment but hopefully you can see how valuable it is to have this extra level of depth to your conversion tracking so how do you actually go and implement all of this? So the main simple answer to that is offline conversions. These are things that happen offline. So as in not necessarily off the entire internet, but just not within Google ads or within the main website in an obvious way. So generally speaking, you're going to be looking at your CRM. So uh, client relationship management system. So say, for example, we use Pipedrive. So one of the things you can do with Pipedrive is the leads go into a new leads column. And then as we move them from that, stage to the next stage, which is say marketing qualified leads that then triggers an offline conversion using Zapier very often is the case to then send that conversion back to Google ads using a thing called a Google click ID. So G -clid, G C L I D Google click ID, which is basically just a little bit of text that sits in the slug URL of the traffic that comes to your site. So a user clicks on an ad, they arrive at your website and it'll be a Google Google click ID question mark and then a random bit of text and that is your ID so we capture that we store it within your CRM system and then when things happen within your CRM flow that is sent back into Google Ads to say this was an X qualified lead or a sales qualified lead or a purchase and that is the trigger to say that that click wherever that was in that particular ad group in that particular campaign etc turned into a qualified or a purchase etc it does get very complicated 
tested. It's different with almost every single different type of CRM system that exists. So basically, if you're struggling with this, if you want to figure it out, just get in touch. Leave a comment and I can try and give you some suggestions or book a call with me and I can give you some proper proper advice around this topic. Um, or we can just do it for you as an ads agency. Obviously, it's something that we do in and out. It's something that we like to take on because if we don't have proper conversion tracking in place, we can't do our jobs. Hopefully this was helpful. I wish you luck in this game. Setting up the qualified lead, I think is genuinely one of the most important things to do in the game of marketing of a SaaS business, anyone in the B2B space really, but it's quite complicated to get done. So, so I wish you luck in figuring out the pains of Google Click IDs. And otherwise, I hope you subscribe and I hope you found some value from this. So I get to see you in the next one. Thank you.